Carbon Revolution is the name of an Australian company that's figured out how to make wheels out of carbon fiber. Ashley Denmead is the design director of the company and he recently visited our studios. I'm talking right now with Ashley Denmead, the design director for a company called Carbon Revolution. Great having you here, Ashley. Thanks, John. Pleasure and we've to got to talk about these carbon fiber wheels that you've come up with here, one piece carbon. Let's start out. What's the advantage of these from a weight standpoint over other wheels? So our front wheel, which we've got here in, in front of you, is 15 pounds, and it's a 19 by 8.5 inch wheel. So that's a, about a 40 to 50 percent weight saving over a standard aluminum wheel from an OEM. And the, the bigger rear wheel here, the, what size and weight is that? So that's a 19 by 12 inch wheel, and that's 17 pounds. Unbelievably weight, and, and in the right place, taking it out of unsprung weight. Exactly, exactly. Rotating and unsprung weight, so big advantages in performance and efficiency. You're one of the inventors of the wheel. What was the biggest technical challenge in developing it? Um, so I guess um, there's a number of technical challenges, uh, both from a product perspective and a process perspective. So uh, in order to, to get this product to market, it's um, not only uh, solving all the challenges technically for the part to make it work and and deal with the conditions on a vehicle, but also being able to make it manufacturable um, efficiently and, uh, and cost effectively, which is, um, I guess, the, the big challenge in most composite products. Most of us in the automotive industry are familiar with Formula One and having to build bodies and uh, the, the monocoque with an autoclave, very high pressure and temperature. My understanding is you don't need that for this wheel. No, we've developed a proprietary process where we um, we get away from, from those uh, types of expensive equipments um, such as autoclaves and, and are able to uh, efficiently produce the product um, at a very high quality using uh, other means which is uh, part of our proprietary process. And uh, I imagine that you chose these wheel sizes because these fit, what, uh, a Porsche 911 GT3 and... Right, these two, two wheel sizes we've got here today are um, fitments for uh, uh, Porsche 911s, Audi R8s, Lamborghini, Gallardos. Um, early next year we'll have new fitments available for other vehicles as well, such as the BMW M3 and that sort of thing. So. What does a wheel like this cost? Uh, so a set of wheels, uh, so the four wheels for those cars that I've just mentioned is uh, right around 15,000 US retail. $15,000, so this is for a very high-end customer. Initially, yeah, yeah. So it's um, it's obviously uh, very much a performance technology. It's a it's a big change for the industry. Um, so yeah, it's it's um, it's expensive initially, but eventually the the costs will come down, and and we hope to see them on a lot more vehicles. Do you think that we'll ever see these on mass production vehicles, a common car that somebody like me might run out and buy? <laughs> I, I certainly hope so. I I think it's um, I think it's going to happen. It'll just take a bit of time. Um, we'll get the, the process and everything to be efficient and cost effective and um, people that we, we believe will take up the technology pretty quickly. Very good, Ashley. Thanks so much for your time today. Thanks, John. Denmead tells me that the wheels use machined aluminum valve stems from Germany that work with tire pressure monitors. You don't need any spe special tire mounting equipment, though they ask that touchless machines are used as with any high-end wheel to avoid scratches or damage, and the wheels are balanced using lead weights with adhesive backings.